Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. US markets were marginally up and it was for the 8th consecutive day that they ended with positive gains. And European markets too were up anywhere from 0.25% to almost about 0.75%. In US, the earnings season 2 has kick-started uh, with good uh, set of numbers being reported by some of the financial companies like Citi, uh, JP Morgan and a few more companies are likely to be announcing numbers which has definitely boosted the sentiment uh, in the US markets and uh, the 10 year bond yield in US continues to around continues to remain around 2.55 uh, or thereabouts. Uh, talking about the Asian markets today morning we have a mixed uh, picture. Uh, Japan is up about 0.5 percent whereas uh, some of the Asian markets are down about 0.3 to 0.6 percent. Both Hang Seng and China are down. In terms of flows friends FIs were net sellers in the cash market to the tune of about 225 crore and the domestic institutions were buyers in the cash market to the tune of 454 crore and in the index futures the FIs were net sellers to the tune of 215 crore. Back home our markets uh, continue to remain strong and they ended uh, above 6000 levels but uh, yesterday night we had a major decisions being taken by the RBI to curb the volatility of the rupee against the dollar and that could actually lead to some weakness in the short term mainly because of the concerns that the interest rates in the system could go up and the priority for RBI at this point of time is curbing the volatility of the rupee and not the interest rates and that could affect the sentiment from an equity market standpoint. On that note let me invite uh, Shaival to take us through important f and cues, data and strategies that we can have in the f and markets. Good morning friends, let's have a view at derivatives. Friends, from past couple of trading sessions, we've been seeing that the markets have able to surpass the mark, psychological mark of 6000 and has been firmly trading about this. Now, when this period of time, yesterday we have seen some long positions been building up in the market as around 7.65 lakh shares were added in open interest and also we have seen that the nifty future has turned into a premium of around 1.80 points from discount of around 1.80 points. Now the PCR ratio has been on continuous uptick and which is clearly visible from the option matrix. Uh, the activity on the put side is gearing up to that of call side and in call side it's visible that only two strikes have been currently active in terms of addition in open interest that is 6200 and 6300. Whereas on the put side we have been seeing continuous addition in strikes of 6000, 5900, 5800. Now, the RBI has moved to uh, ease the volatility in the rupee market uh, yesterday, uh, late night yesterday has been seeing an effect on the SGX Nifty due to which it's been uh, down by around 9200 points and which may have an effect on the Indian uh, on our equity markets too due to which we may see some gap down opening on Indian equities. But 5,900 on closing basis might continue to act as a good support for the market and from intraday perspective, friends, Sri Ram Transport Finance is looking negative so one can go short by maintaining a stop loss of 691 rupees 90 paisa. Thank you. Here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, the companies which will be announcing numbers, Ashok Leyland uh, could report a loss of about 71.3 crore because of the poor uh, sales in the domestic market as well as the margin pressure. In IIT technology, we are looking at a net profit of about 54.9 crore and in case of development credit bank, we are looking at a net profit of about 33.1 crore. In an important development, the Reserve Bank of India has restric restricted access to easy money by banks by capping the overnight borrowing limit to about 75,000 crore and more importantly, under this facility, uh, the banks will be able to borrow from Reserve Bank at a 10.25% rate of interest as against the earlier rate of interest of 8.25. So immediately this will uh, amount to increase in the rate of interest by 200 basis point for all the banks and indirectly this amounts to raising the interest rate. That means that the RBI has set the priority in terms of curbing the rupee volatility and interest rate could take the back seat which is definitely not positive from a stock market perspective. And this is the one important reason why we are seeing that the SDX Nifty will open down with a gap of almost about 90 to 95 points. The uh, wholesale inflation number came out at about 4.86% in June, which has recorded the lowest level of last 43 months, which is definitely good. But uh, 
given the current environment around the interest rates and the kind of steps that the RBI is taking, this may not have any positive material impact for the markets. And Prime Minister has also indicated that he is looking at uh, boosting the confidence of the overseas investors and he could announce a few more steps uh, to reverse the flows and to restore the confidence of investors. Today in an important uh, meeting which is lined up uh, for the EGOM, there is going to be some kind of a priority setting for the gas between the fertilizer and the power sectors because there is definitely an acute shortage being faced by the power companies of gas and if there is some clarity on, on what kind of gas allocation can be made available to power companies, you could see some positive action in, in the power companies. Sun TV is looking at acquiring TV9 channels for a total amount of 150 crore which includes a few regional channels and the private equity firm based in Mauritius, Safe Partner uh, has a substantial stake in the company and they were looking at exiting. So expect some positive action in Sun TV. The PNGRB has authorized the Reliance Gas Transportation Infrastructure Limited to lay the pipeline from uh, Shahadol in Madhya Pradesh to Fulfur in Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh. So some positive news for the Reliance uh, Infra. JSW Steel is in talks with uh, another company to acquire a controlling stake in Sandur Manganese and oil, iron ore in Karnataka to improve its access to iron ore and cut the logistic costs. So some positive news for JSW Steel here. Coming to the stock specific uh, news, Excite came out with extremely good set of numbers post market. The expectations were much lower for Excite. And the actual net profit came in at about 158.8 crore as against expectations of about 146 crore. Even there was a margin improvement. So one can go long on Excite with a stop loss of 119 and a target of about 126 to about 129. Naivali Lignite, uh, some positive news as the center and market regulator has accepted the Jailalita government's uh, proposal to buy the divested uh, shares in Naivali Lignite. So one can go long there with a stop loss of 58.5 and a target of about 63. That's it from all of us friends. Have a great trading session. See you tomorrow at the same time.